Hey folks, how you doing? Captain Mark here, Kid Coach East Outdoors. What's today's episode? Mid-August, Long Island Sound. It's El Muerta Sea. I think that's a dead sea, I don't even know. All right, it's tough up there, right? I knew outside that I was just gonna get some nonsense outside, so what I did is I took the old prodigy, yeah, the prodigy right here, and I stayed inside. I was using a little catfish technique to catch some fish right now, all right? In the beginning of the day, I got out at five in the morning. I threw some rattle traps for uh, some striped bass, got one there. And another one scared the crumb cake at me. Why don't I just go to that right now, just to show you how I've been shot. I get lots of bad things have happened to me, but I really don't get that scared. I get scared by a little striped bass like this right next to my boat. Check it out. See, I told you he's a wussy. Totally. Now seriously, how bad is that, all right? And I wonder, is it rubbing off on Hunter too, being like a little sketchy and a little nervous, right? I went through some old footage, check this out. That bass was released there, right? Nobody was harmed in the filming of that little episode right there of Hunter on the beach. All right, but let's get back to where we were, all right? So basically what I'm doing here is I'm using these rods right here. These are Daiwa BG 2500s. You got a little uh, six odd circle hook right here. All right, that's what I'm gonna be doing. A little circle hook, a little mylar. And you're gonna notice, I'll come over to this now. This is what you're gonna notice. I have a little nonsense three way that catches a weight. But what I do, I forgot my weights. They're on the big boat. So I did this with an old... You're gonna be seeing me using this thing, like what is he doing with this thing? All right? But I had no weight, so I, I improvised, I adapted. I took the snips, I snipped the hook off so it wouldn't hang up, but I casted that out. This is an old, crummy blackfish jig that I tied my, uh, that I made myself. And uh, since I've gone to the uh, Tidal Tales, I don't use my own stuff anymore, all right? Johnny Knight over at Tidal Tales takes care of me, and uh, that's all I use is Tidal Tales. It's the best stuff out there, all right? So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm taking these two rods. My, my game plan was to go out there and do like Zach Royce do with the catfish, all right? These are circle hooks locked up, and we're gonna be presenting baits to uh, fish as we move, all right? So we're dragging them. I was gonna have two going out, two going out the back. My problem was there was two. There was just too much stuff going on, right? There was too much uh, activity on the fish front there that they were snapping both of them at the same time, and I was snapping shrimp too, all right? So you're gonna see me snapping shrimp too, and basically what I'm doing is snapping these little guys here. Again, Tidal Tails bullet head, uh, just as probably a half ounce, and this is just a shrimp, a fugazi little shrimp that I got at, uh, got a Dix right there. This thing cost nothing. This whole bag, I don't know, like there were six of them in there. For a dollar. My point is, is that this is not a scent-oriented uh, strike here. This is a visual strike that uh, anything, any predator fish is going to do. All right. So these are really, really strong. I mean, you can really yank on these things, and they're really hard rubber. I don't know how you describe them, but they're not like a gulp where a gulp is now. Gulp is fugazi now. They're getting all soft. Comment below if you agree with me that gulp right now is dropping the ball on the American consumer here. Right. Their gulp is just so soft and crappy now. They're getting ripped off hooks and stuff like that, so it's driving me nuts. So basically, this is a plastic. I don't know, like I said, these guys make it. Whoever makes it, it doesn't make a difference what you use. I'm not pushing anybody's uh, shrimp here. But my theory is, back in the day, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna run this into a con shout out and, and that thing, all right? Back in the day, uh, I'm sure my con shout out right now is Mikey Combs right here. Nice fluke fisherman right there. He's got some fluke out there. He fishes out on the uh, North Fork. But more importantly, Mikey Combs is uh, the family Combs Bank Tackle, which is a huge, iconic bait station on the south shore of Long Island, all right? Back in the day, I guarantee those guys sold the salty dogs, all right? That's what we use for wheat fish. 25 years ago, taking those things out and whipping these rod tips out and having these, these shrimp just dart, all right? And that's basically what I always do. They always say, I'm snapping shrimp. That's what I do. I don't know if, I say snap shrimp, all right? If anybody knows anything about shrimp, I know a little bit about shrimp. I don't know a lot about shrimp. But shrimp have these little legs, right? When the shrimp is happy and he's moving in the sea, his legs are moving and they're kind of like moving. They all move like this and they're almost like doggy paddling, right? That's a shrimp when everything's nice. Until 
some pest comes and wants to eat them, all right? And what a shrimp will do now is use the back of their tail here, and what they'll do is they'll propel themselves, all right? They kind of dart real, when, when they gotta avoid uh, being eaten, they do a little dart move. So basically what you wanna do is replicate that, and that's just, that's basically fish in the office saying, oh, there's a shrimp darting, let me go say hello. See if I can stop him after he darts. Basically what I'm doing is I'm doing, I'm ripping this thing as fast as I can because that's what shrimp do. If you look at shrimp behavior, that's what shrimp do. They're just gonna do a quick dart, and try to get the heck out of Dodge, but they're not gonna go far. They can't go far, they're little shrimps, all right? Who's a shrimp? Hey. That's what I'm doing. I, I'm snapping shrimp and that's what I'll be doing on the other stuff. Everything eats a shrimp. You can go out to any point, jetty, race, and snap shrimp, and you're gonna catch fish, all right? That's what I'm telling you, that's what's gonna happen. I've done it, I've done it a hundred freaking times. I do it today, and more, I was trying to snap shrimp, but the damn rods kept going off in the back, the dead sticks, and I was kind of a slave to them. I probably should have had another person on the boat, but I just kind of wanted to sneak out there, do a quick film, and just say hello to my people out there in the condemnation. How you doing, ladies? All right? So that's what this episode's about. You're going to see me snapping. You're going to see me dead sticking. And that's that. Hope you guys enjoy the show. It's really not a good one. It's not a good show. Maybe the part about the shrimp's legs, maybe you enjoy, but it's really not a great show. But I got a lot of stuff happening. As a matter of fact, Saturday we got a tournament coming up for, uh, it's a bluefish tournament, which is a nightmare. But we won it last year, using Tony Maja stuff. We're gonna win it this year, using Tony Maja stuff, all right? Number four spoons. I know. I should show you my Tony Maja stuff. You guys wanna see that right now? I should bring my Tony Maja, just for you to get a laugh right now. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put my camera. I'm gonna follow the camera. I'm gonna let this roll without editing. But <laughs> my, Tony, <laughs> my Tony Maja bag is 800 pounds. Let's go say hello. We're going in. We're going in. There's my Tony Maja stuff. I can't even put it on my book because it's so damn heavy. So what do we have here? We got the Tony Maja. These bad boys. All right. Crazy if you don't want them. Oh my gosh. What we got here? We got, oh, there's even got the Maja. It's even says Tony Maja on it. Here's a couple of scoops. They're not Maja stuff. Put them over here. That gear. Ready rig, Kid Coach's ready rigs. Right there, totally for Gazy. A great dog painting the Kid Coach's colors. I don't know why they don't make those in Kid Coach's colors now. All the other Tony Marshall stuff. Tony Marshall mojos. Lots of mojos. More importantly, this is pretty cool here. I don't know why I'm calling that. I apologize if you guys aren't into Tony Marshall stuff, but look at this. I swear, I was at the All Pro Expo Canon. Uh, Sells these bags, which I really dig. And also, just a slew of Tony Marshas. Number fours, that's what won the tournament last time. That's what I assume will win it this time. We're gonna push those hard. What else we got? Anything good? Tom? What do we got here? Oh my god. There's another mojo hide, but look at this stuff. This is crap. All this is important, so I'm gonna take this out. Those are money right there. Those are the leashes. Freaking have more nails. Alright, I'm gonna grab them away. Always have your backups of uh, wire. The rod goes ugly. Always have a backup wheel of steel. Put wire on it if one goes ugly. All right, that's it. Let me go back to over here. Jeez, I'm talking way too much. All right. All right, I'm sorry about that. I got totally, as they call it in the business, I want, I want to side on that. All right. So let's go back to fishing. I don't know what brought me there, but I'm just kind of ex not excited about it. We always have a good time fishing that tournament, so that's that's why uh, I thought I'd bring you over to show you the, the gear we're going to use. And I'll show you. You'll be seeing probably in the following week or two, you'll see the Tony Marsha stuff. Tony Marsha, get said dish. Anthony Marsha, get said dish. Jay Marsha, the genie Marsha? Hello. Oh, hi, Dan. All right. Hmm. Let's go get some fish. <laughs> All right, guys, I was just messing with you. I saw the 14 can coming up, and I adjusted, all right? Here, I'm adjusting. All right, so here I am. 
inside in the back and I'm just gonna put out for one dead stick how it goes I'm just gonna have a little scope on it so it's dragging bottom the key here and if you're inside or outside outside being in the Long Island Sound you want to have the lightest weight you could use to get to the bottom all right you don't want to be dragging an eight ounce sinker doing this so if a one ounce or even a half ounce is holding and it's hitting bottom you could feel it dragging bottom that's where you want to be all right it gives a lot less pull on that bait so Keep that in mind, light is possible. One ounce sink is probably more than enough for this to do, all right? All right guys, now I'm just gonna use the uh, other rod now to snap shrimp on the other side of the boat, all right? I'm casting the direction the boat is drifting and it's gonna work its way back to midship, all right? Just watch the other video I did, I'll leave the link below how to do that, and it's really not that difficult. All right, so here I am snapping away here, like a snap madman. And uh, if you keep an eye on that bottom left rod there in the rod holder, it's gonna get a load. Somebody's gonna come say load right now. All right, I'm eyeballing it, snapping on there she is. We got company. All right, so basically, pull the snap jigging rod in, and uh, we're gonna go back and say load to this thing. All right, I'm gonna be catching a lot of pests here, but I don't care. A lot of sea robins coming in, short fluke, but I don't really care. Like I said, I'll come out, I'll go catch bluegill for a day, and that's great fishing to me. It doesn't really make a difference. This is kind of mindless stuff. It's fun. It's great for kids. I mean, circle hooks and dead sticks. 99% of these fish are getting hooked in the lips. You can get them out really easily. And uh, it's fun. I mean, what am I going to tell you? I'm out here trying to put a little thing together, and this is the way it went. species again. God darn it. <laughs> See, dead stick in circle is the way to go. Get those dead sticks out with a little snapping. Snap a little shrimp. Turn that off so I can hear those things if they go off. I right, hit bottom. And we're gonna snap a little shrimp action. I missed them. Now, right, if you guys see those other rods, go just give me a holler, all right? Now, this is definitely not a sh snapping shrimp rod. And this thing's heavy as n.
The cool thing about snapping shrimp, guys and girls, is that you have no idea what the heck you're going to catch. All right, striped bass will hit these things, fluke hit it, and also the sea robins, obviously, are much more aggressive. There's a million of them back there, so I'm kind of working my way through these sea robins, but definitely picking up fluke and uh, have two, uh, really, one bass, and that's it. But it's tough fish, so keep that in mind. <laughs> Let's do this again. So you guys are looking into the sun. I know you don't like that, but these rods getting whacked like crazy. I'll let you see if you can watch them real time. Lost my freaking rod. <laughs> God, he's on it. He's not even fucking in there. Dang, son. That thing almost freaking lost my rod. Look, that thing was locked up. Let him come back for it. Let him come back for it. Come on, I'm not gonna hurt you. Wow. That was a big fish, whatever it was. Big fish, big fish, big fish. Oh boy. Stay on there. I ain't gonna hurt you. Let's make sure that took is tight. Oh boy. Here we go. Son, this guy's got me. Circle hook's got me.
right, folks, sneaking in another con shout out of the week. There you go, Ryan Delello. All right, his dad Thomas sent this in. Ryan was over there smacking some snappers, which is very topical right now, right? Snappers are in. Go out there and enjoy them. Go out there, take the kids, take the big people, catch those snappers, use them for bait. All right, folks, I just want to thank you all. Oh, there's a pool shot for one of you guys. I know you guys like to pool in these videos for some reason. I want to thank you all for watching Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. Con hats, I think I'm sold out. Con shirts, sold out. Con stickers, got a few. All right, so uh, let me know if you guys want more of that stuff. I'll have to order it. If not, I won't order it, but let me know either below or send me an email, all right? I'll, I'll deal with you guys because I dig it. I dig people watching the con hats. I, I mailed them all over the country. I get a bunch of emails back with guys with fish and girls with fish. I love it. Remember, con man is men and women. Love it. All right. Uh, consider subscribing, like I said. And uh, all the gear I use, check it out in the description below. What else? Oh, quick apologies again. I lost all my voicemails uh, about Charlie and stuff like that. I do have some openings in Blackfish, but not a lot. I'm all jammed up. Uh, the emails, I try to get back to you guys, but they, there's a lot of emails, believe it or not. People, a lot of people email me with this con stuff, all right? And I appreciate it. I'm uh, very pleased that you guys enjoy the videos. And uh, if I didn't get back to you, I apologize, all right? I may have lost your email. I'm terrible. <sighs> I do apologize. I love you all. Guess that they should the most. Till next time, chubby kids gotta go. Hey folks, thanks for watching Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. Consider subscribing below and like if you like. Mow the lawn! Yap it. I'm an artist. I don't do that kind of work. Yeah.